Al Jazeera's uh, Abby Lewis is in the capital, Port-au-Prince, and he's just had a really interesting uh, interview with the Prime Minister of Haiti, who seems quite withering, actually, about what I would imagine the current administration would want to present as a foreign policy success, at least one foreign policy success that's helping out after the catastrophe in Haiti. But, Avi, what's the Prime Minister been saying? Well, you know, the State of the Union is, of course, a, a largely domestic matter. But in my interview with the Prime Minister, uh, Jean-Max Bellerive, today, uh, you know, I wanted to address the other fact of the state of the United States, which is that it's embarked in one of the largest aid and reconstruction efforts ever. And when I raised within the issue of the, the, the delays in getting aid to people and the increasing desperation of people on the streets, he told me today that he thought it was foreseeable that there would be clashes between U.S. troops and Haitian civilians on, on the streets of Port-au-Prince, um, which, is, which is not the kind of message that the Obama administration wants to send. I, I want to play you a part of the clip that, 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 uh, from the interview that we did. I put to him the scenario that many have, uh, many have brought up in the past two weeks, that the need for security will become a self-fulfilling prophecy that if there's too much priority and security and not enough on getting the aid out quickly to people, that people will get desperate enough, will get hungry enough, that there will be riots and there will be the need for the security which was slowing things down in the first place. I put that scenario to him and here's what he said. Until now, the Asian population is very calm. Don't wait until you have really to react and take care of a security problem. So. It's a balance between my preoccupation, the preoccupation of the Asian population that just want, they don't care about the security organization, they just want, just want the water, the food, the medics get to them. And they don't care and they don't feel that there is a need of so much security. So they're just asking why all that food, all that water is still at the airport or in the storage facilities. I suppose, Avi, this speaks to this idea of whether the mistakes, or perhaps not the mistakes of the past, will be corrected, whether Haitians themselves will have a say in the reconstruction of their country. What, what does the Prime Minister say? Well, you know, this, this is the other thing. I mean, we've seen pictures on Al Jazeera in, in the last few days of people fighting over food. Um, from what I can tell from the, from the three days that I've sent in the city, going to many, many places where people are hungry and where food is being distributed in different ways, it is absolutely easily avoidable. And I put this scenario to the Prime Minister. I said, what if an aid agency goes to a camp where there are thousands of people uh, awaiting for aid and says, let me meet with the neighborhood committee because almost all of these settlements are self-organized and they all have neighborhood committees that organize them. And you say, we're coming in three hours with a bunch of food or a bunch of water or a bunch of medicine, make lines, and the neighborhood committee makes the security, the aid organization comes, and we've seen thousands of people lining up peacefully for food and water and other kinds of aid. Isn't that the way to do it? And he said, again, this is precisely what I'm saying in my meetings with aid organizations. The organization of Haitians on the ground is impressive. You need to work with people at the local level, at the mayoral level, at the municipal level, and at the national level, because the people are self-organizing. If you just roll in there, and he's, he spoke of uh, aid agencies and donor governments wanting photo ops, wanting to quote unquote run their own show uh, and get a PR moment out of it and follow their own procedures and policies which may be very legitimate but don't necessarily fit the reality on the ground here. He said if you just let the Haitians lead on the local level we can get this aid out quickly and you don't need all this security. Avi Lewis reporting from Porto Print. It's certainly going to raise questions about that reconstruction effort in the coming weeks, months and years.